Hey guys, Joe here, Forge Works. Today, I'm gonna do a little singing. Then, I'm gonna drop the mic. Oh, sh I broke it. So today, I wanna to talk to you about this microphone bottle opener that I'm working on. And more so than that, the story that's behind it. This is Amin Jabbar. He's a craft beer connoisseur and an MC. Pretty badass MC from what I understand. A little while back, Amin was diagnosed with lymphoma. He's been fighting it off and going through treatments. And Brian Blum and some of his friends got together and wanted me to build him a microphone bottle opener. Of course I said yes. So now I just got to figure out how to do it. There's a couple ways of going about this. I could use solid stock and trim away at the sides and cut it down into a cone shape. But that would be too easy. I gotta do shit the hard way. Instead, I decided to use round tube stock. This is one of the first metalworking techniques I've ever learned. I learned this from my brother, who I lost back in 2015. He's the reason I got into metalworking, and anytime I can use the technique that he taught me, I jump at it. We used to rebuild old two-stroke motorcycles. We built the exhaust systems from scratch, and that's why we had to make hollow metal cones. To make cones from hollow tube, you gotta cut pie slices out of the side wall from the tube. Then you squeeze the metal together where the pie slices have been cut out, making the opening at one end larger and one end smaller. You then weld the seams where the pie slices were, and you've got hollow cones. Could you imagine me trying to make a wire mesh? Yeah, you can pretty much buy these anywhere, and they're like two or three bucks, so that's what I opted to do for this. To make this handle, I cut out four pie slices. I separated them at 90 degrees apart, this way when I squished the smaller end down, it comes together evenly and symmetrically. Kind of. As a metal worker, I never throw anything metal away. This here is a needle bearing casing that was in my U-joint on my pickup truck that pretty much outlasted its life expectancy. I cleaned it out and threw it in my hardware cabinet, hoping that one day I might use it for something. Back to the cone, I went ahead and gave it some heat, threw it up in the anvil, and started persuading it to go into the position I wanted it in. After that, I put it in the vise while it's still hot, give it some detailed tweaks, and it's getting pretty close to where I want it. Remember this little guy? The inner diameter fits perfectly over the small end of the handle. With a little persuasion, it goes right on the handle and holds everything in place until I can get it over to the TIG welder. So at this point, I'll go ahead and tack up those seams and then afterwards, I'll weld them together completely. Next, I'll go ahead and put this thing in the vise and grind down all those welds. I'm going to try and round it off the best I can. Here's a trick you've probably never seen before. I went ahead and welded a piece of solid half-inch round stock in the center of this cone. I can then put that half-inch round stock into my drill. I can then put that drill into my vise. With a couple wire ties, I can turn that drill on. Now I've got a nice spinning cone. On the other end of that cone, you got me with a spinning angle grinder and a flap disc. Now I'm sure somewhere in this world, there's a picture of exactly what I'm doing with a circle around it and a red X going through the middle of it. When you don't have a lathe, this is about the best option you have. I mean, hey, sometimes you just got to piss with the cock that you got. It looked pretty good cleaned up. I didn't manage to get the footage of it, but I did run it through the sandblaster and got it all cleaned up. Next some vinyl on the laser cutter. Went ahead and cut out the Forgeworks logo and the Means MC name, which is explicit. I'll use these as vinyl stencils or masking. I'll go ahead and use my acid etch to put his name and the Forgeworks name in the side of the handle. Then using epoxy, I'll go ahead and permanently attach that wind mesh. And this thing's pretty much wrapped up. Some good news. Amin did announce in the end of February that he only had a few treatments left and there was no active cancer in his body. So congratulations to you, Amin. Keep on fighting the good fight, man. And may you have many, many more chugs. Thanks for watching. Like what you see? Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. For more great content, don't forget to join us at the Forgeworks Bottle Axe Group on Facebook and Instagram. We have contests, giveaways, razzles. You don't want to miss it. The links are below.